You're listening to Mana for the Day. Pagpalang umaga po sa ating lahat and welcome po sa ating Mana for the Day. Rest. Ang ibig sabihin nito is to cease work or movement in order to relax, refresh oneself, or recover strength. Rest. Ang sarap pakinggan, no? But surely, karamihan sa atin, it is such a difficult concept. We easily tend to push aside rest kasi nga dami natin ginagawa at dapat tapusin. Pero pagkatapos nun, meron na naman, paulit-ulit lang. We have lot of work to do sa bahay, sa trabaho, sa pamilya, sa ministry, at iba't iba pang responsibilidad. Gusto mo mang mag-rest? Kaya lang baka matatambakan ka na naman ng trabaho. Sabi nga ng iba, rest has now become a luxury. Pero nakakatuwa ha, dami kong nakikita ngayon at na nakabakasyon kung saan saan at nakapamasyal. At least nakapag-relax at rest din at the same time, nakita and were able to catch up with their loved ones. Family, friends, former classmates, etc. Gaya ko na nasa Pilipinas din ngayon, indeed the blessing after more than two years na di nakauwi dulot ng pandemic. Though sometimes during my vacation, at the back of my mind, dami ko na naman babalikan na trabaho after nitong bakasyon na to. At mal- malamang, makapagbigay na naman ng so much stress. So thinking of it, I'm not truly rested. Patuloy nga na there's, some, or there's nothing in this world that can offer true rest that we need. In fact, the prince of this world, our enemy, the devil, just makes us always busy and restless, which creates, which creates worry, anxiety, problem, or issues that affects us not only physically, but also emotionally and spiritually. Kayo po, do you still remember the last time you felt truly rested? Do you have this nagging feeling that something is missing from the rhythm and balance ng buhay mo na you really need to address it? Doon sa aking nabasa, ang sabi doon, rest is about recovery. Dapat alam daw natin kung kailan tayo exhausted and we need to breathe deeply for a while. Dapat alam din natin ang ating limit and how we handle the demands ating pang-araw-araw na pamumuhay. Rest is about refreshment, you know, learning what energizes us and what doesn't. Alamin natin kung ano-ano ang mga nag- nagbibigay sa atin ng lakas at alam din natin kung ano ang nagbibigay sa atin ng stress. So we can focus more on the things that are more or we can focus on the things that are more important. And lastly, and the most important, rest is about renewal. It is experiencing a deep renewal in all parts of our lives. That means spending time with God so that we are spiritually made new every morning. We need our spirits refreshed by spending time with God each day. Sabi sa Psalm 37, uh, 7a, Sa New King James Version, Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for Him. Ang Hebrew word ng rest is daumam, which means to be silent, to be still, to be quiet or calm, to be at peace. Kung titignan din sa, natin sa ibang salin sa Biblia, sa ESV or NIV, sabi doon, Be still before the Lord. Sa ESV or sa CSB naman, Be silent before the Lord. Or sa GW, Surrender before the Lord. It conveys essential and strong message of rest that is to be at peace. Therefore, we must dwell in the presence of the Lord and surrender to His Lordship. Kapatid, rest is indeed a gift and can only be experienced in the Lord. As believers, we know that work is a blessing, so is rest. 
Yes, work and responsibilities may give us stress and cause anxieties or problems, but we have a choice on how to react on this. Are we going to run around and panic, wasting our time worrying and relying solely to people, or trust and take rest in the Lord? Let's pray. Most gracious and heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of rest. Forgive us also, Father, that we tend to worry about things that happens around us, which makes us busy and restless, that we get out of focus with our fellowship with you. It is indeed a reminder that only through you that we can experience true rest. We just need to be still, to be silent, and surrender everything to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen and amen and amen. And that was our mana for the day. Subscribe and follow our social media accounts for more content and be updated with our Ring Christian Fellowship.